As of late, uh, DNC Chair and Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, as well as other uh, members of the Democrat Caucus in, in, in the Congress, did not come out and defend you and Governor Palin when uh, people like Bill Maher came out and attacked you and used, uh, uh, let's just say, not so uh, kind words to describe you, whereas they came out and excoriated uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh and others for their comments about certain individuals. Do you think there's a double standard in politics, especially with the Democrat Party? Oh, well, there's no question that there's a double standard because the one line that the liberals like to use is that conservative women are ignorant. And we saw that on display last week when a senior woman, Obama advisor, said that Ann Romney hadn't worked a day in her life. That was only one part of the insult, but the other even greater insult is that she was saying this, that Ann Romney couldn't possibly know anything about economics because she's been an at-home mother raising five boys. Now this is incredible, this low view that liberal women have of stay-at-home moms. It's more than just a slap because it says that they can't possibly know anything about economics when women who are at home probably are better attuned to economics than anyone else. They know the price of a gallon of milk. They know the price of a gallon of gasoline at the pump. They know what the property tax bill is. They know what the price of the school's, uh, uh, um, the kids' school clothes are. They know what all the prices are and they feel it. One thing that I saw last week when I was in my district, women today are paying $2,000 more a year for gasoline than they did the day that Barack Obama came into office because gas was $1.84 a gallon when he came in. Women feel it. And so if anyone gets the pressure of high prices, it's women. And so to think that the liberal Democrat women are being the attack dogs against conservative women, that somehow conservative women are ignorant, when it's conservative women who know the prices, who know what the impact is on the family. And of course there's a double standard, not only just in the media, but also among liberal women as well.